Hii ni Football Fans Clan. Channel ya pekee hapa Kenya ambayo inaangazia tu hisia mbwembwe na maoni ya mashabiki wa soka kila baada ya mechi kubwa. Wapo ni mgeni basi na kuomba usisahau kusubscribe, ku like na kushare. Five goals are Genest West Ham. All goals scored in the first half. What's your take on this match? Uh, the team rehearsed on Wednesday. Today was just to continue from where we left. Five goals on Wednesday, five goals on uh, a Saturday. Those are ten goals in two games. Free-flowing Arsenal, flying Arsenal. That's what you expect of Arsenal. As I told you, Arsenal is back. This is the Arsenal you want to see. Yeah. Uh, all goals scored in the first half. Though some goals I've heard from fans that are a bit controversial. What's your take on those goals, especially the penalties? What is controversial about the goals? We have the VR, we have the center referee. They've decided it's a penalty. And the first one was a clear penalty. The second one was a clear penalty. Uh, you are not uh, supposed to, 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 you are supposed to punch the ball, not to punch the person. I think that's even violent contact, which deserves even a red card. I think the referee has been very fair in that match. So the two penalties were okay. And uh, the, the other three goals, I think uh, those were just clear goals. We've always scored from the corners. We've always scored from set pieces. Uh, that is Arsenal, you know. I think what we need to talk about is um, how Arsenal has improved to date. You realize that the team, looking at it from the defense, and I told you, regardless of who is playing, whether it's uh, Kiwior who is in or, uh, Zia, or, or, or Mangales, the team is solid. One, when everyone in Arsenal is fit, the team is solid. Arsenal has played some fluid football, some free-flowing football in the first half. Creativity from Odegaard, the runs from Saka, his uh, cuttings, his shots, his assists. They just tell you that this is a complete team. If we are not going to have so many other problems, I think other teams... I, I think we can now talk. We can start now talking about winning the we winning the, 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 the Premier League. If what Arsenal is playing, what play, what it played on Wednesday, and what it has played today on uh, Saturday, is what is what to go about. And remember, the two matches are away from home. These are away matches. These are away matches. And you look at how the team is playing. I think Arteta has done some good job. Commendable job. Yeah. Uh, look at this. When the season started, Arsenal were being commended for having one of the best defenses. They usually scored only maybe one or two goals and then they set back and maintained their solidity at the back. Now you can see Arsenal has maybe a bit changed whereby they are scoring many goals by the defense is, uh, is allowing in some goals. You allowed a goal at Genesti Sporting, another two goals from West Ham in, in one minute. Do you think Ateta has changed how he approached matches whereby he, he, he had decided to let us score more and not care much about conceding? Uh, I don't think uh, there is any manager who wants to concede. Conceding, I think, uh, like today when Arsenal did uh, concede a goal, we did concede two silly goals, I, might, I, I should say, because I think uh, that was sloppy from, uh, uh, from uh, Trossard. He didn't realize... Uh, Bisaka was running behind him. They should have been aware. And we are also talking about Calafiori. There were two of them, and Bisaka managed to run past them. I think that was silly of them. They need just to be reminded. Number two, uh, I think uh, if you keep scoring goals, at some point you will concede. You realize that teams that win with less goals, they don't concede. Because you are attack-minded. What does it, what, what does it, what, what does it, what, what happens to you? You are exposed at the back. At some point, because you keep attacking, 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 then it means at some point you might lose concentration and concede. So, but for as long as you're scoring as many goals as you can, though clean sheets are important, but you know, we've had a problem. You realize up to today, we were tying with Chelsea in every other aspect except the red cards which we Arsenal had so many red cards but now what do we want what what were we what was the objective probably in the game is to score more goals so that even if we are tying in everything even goals win a title and i think the the, the approach that is giving this uh, game is we try and score as many goals as we can to put the game away from the opponent so that we don't play with the pressure look at it 
In the first half, we score five goals. The second half, we come in, despite uh, the, 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 the injury for, to, to, to Gabriel and the, the changes. It enables to rotate even the team to Saka, Trani, Odegaard. Uh, they all went out. That means you give them rest. You finish the game in the first half, it gives you a, a breather. The second half, you can make your changes. You are playing under less pressure. You just need to control and manage the game. And that's what, we, that was, that was what has happened. So the approach was okay. The approach was okay. As much as we've considered two goals, which is not okay. Uh, but uh, the approach to score more goals, I think that is fine. Yeah.